<sighs> Let me see. Oh, I think I was just out of college, out of cooking school. Yeah, and that was 1986, 86, in the beginning of 1987. And I thought, oh, what am I going to do? And I don't want to be a cook all my life. So, uh, or so I thought. And I said, and my parents said, well, why don't you join the military? I said, well, you know what? I have no other things to do. I'm from Newfoundland, a little helpport community. And uh, yeah, there wasn't much going on there. You know what? Why not? Give it a go. And, uh, you know, after 20, 24 years, 157 days later after I joined, boom, it was probably one of the best, best careers I ever had. You know, looking back at it now, I wish I had done it earlier. You know, right out of high school, I probably should have done it. So I was Army. I, I was with the, uh, when I joined, I was a uh, Lord Strathcona's Horse, Royal Canadians, Armored Corps. And I did that from 19, huh, when I went to the Strathconas in 1988, or January of 88. And I remustered to food services in 2000. I didn't think that the Armored Corps was moving fast enough for my liking. I kind of wanted to be on the, the, the fast pace and uh, yeah so the food services trade actually you know m made my career go a whole lot faster than, than, than I thought. And was it a hard transition? Yep, it was hard. I had the mindset or the mentality that this is how things are done, this is how things are laid out, so forth and so on and everything, everything had a step and civilians I call it, you know, the civilian world was kind of not regimed per se. And I find that, I found that very hard. I, hey, I'm in a uniform. I have, there's a purpose behind this uniform. Um, you know, I, I wanted to kind of maintain some of that military um, discipline, I would, if you, if you will. Um, yeah, so that's why, you know, it was kind of seemed like this is where I should be.